Hello guys, wonderful people. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. All depends on your location at this time of the day. I am back again to update you guys what is going on in Nigeria. Okay, the leader of IPOB, Mazinam Dikanu, has sent a warning message to DSP Abakiari over the killing of Igbos. I will give you more details of this. Don't forget to subscribe. Also, turn on your bell notification for my existing subscribers. Thank you guys very much. As you continue supporting me, God will also support you. Without wasting much of your time, the leader of IPOB, Mazinam Dikanu, said the Nigerian army, the police, cannot withstand Boko Haram and bandit terrorizing the Northeast. So Namdekanu, who lamented the killing of innocent youth in the Southeast, said DSP Abakiari should have gone to the Northeast to help dislodge Boko Haram and bandit, having few day in the region with his tactics. All right? The IPOB leader accused Nigerian security operative of killing Igbo youth while failing to curb terrorists in the North East. So speaking through the spokesman, a more powerful, Kanu said, why Abakiari wrongly tagged innocent Igbos as unknown gunmen, his hometown, Guba in Yobe State, and his place of bed, Medugri in Bono State, they are among the worst hit in the terms of insecurity. So the statement read, in quote, it is unfortunate that Supercorp DC, DCP Abakiari and his team are killing Igbo youth and labeling them Eastern Security Network and unknown gun men. While the Igbo Efulefu elders and politicians has remained mute over the issue of killings, abductions and bribery practices for the release of their innocent victims, Supercorp DSP Abakiari some town in Yobe State and place of bed, Bono State, they are the worst in terms of insecurity. If truly DSP Abakiari is a super cop, he should have used his widely claimed tactics in intelligent field to help this large Boko Haram and bandit, having filled the in northeast of Nigeria, which is the region he came from. Time has proven that Nigerian soldiers and police including the CP Abakiari and his IRT team cannot withstand Boko Haram and Bandit operating in the Northeast, where insurgency and insecurity is at large. Why be zealous in killing innocent Biafrans, mainly of Igbo extraction? All right. So that is um, the statement from the leader of IPOB through his spokesman, Emma Powerful. Um, I quickly want to update you guys. You know, if I want to say something now, all right, um, without being biased, I keep telling you guys, whenever we see the truth, that is what I stand for. Whenever we see the truth, let us say it the way it is. Now, what I have noticed, I keep saying it. I keep saying it time without numbers. The people especially they i don't know if they call please i really don't know the, the meaning of a fuller fool if you know the meaning of i really need help the meaning of a fuller fool all right so the so-called Igbo elders politicians it is obvious that they are keeping mute which is not good it is obvious they are keeping mute to all the killings that is going on why is it the Igbos? Now, let me tell you something. Now that we are having Yoruba nation agitation, people are coming out, they agitate, uh, they agitating. The same thing the Biafrans did, the same thing IPOB did, but Yoruba nation agitators, they are yet to be labeled terrorist organization. Have you ever wondered why could that be so? Of course, why is it that the people in the Southwest are agitating? And um, next month, July 3, will be the Omega Rally. And up till now, 
the federal government is yet to declare. It's not as if uh, they are they are yet to agitate. Sonibo has been doing it in Ibada and Ibarakpa. He has been going. He has been doing it. But is it that it's not yet time for the government to label them terrorists? And it is the same thing the Bia France did. It is the same thing IPOB did. Just awareness, agitation, rally, and they were labeled terrorist organization. Why is it Bia France? That is a question we should ask. Because it's the same thing Yoruba Nation are doing, agitation. But why are they yet to be declared terrorists? I think there is something, something is fishy somewhere, all right? I don't know if you guys understand. Something is fishy somewhere, all right? So the Igbo leaders, their politicians, they are keeping mute. They are not saying anything. Why is that so? Their brothers, their children, rather than even condemn the killing, they are even foiling it. It is so obvious. Okay, guys, um, that is the update this morning, 29 June 2021. Uh, Let me know what you think. See you guys in another video.